okay uh, in today lecture uh, we are going to uh, discuss and start uh, chapter number 8 and this chapter is about network security okay so if you do remember in last class we had discussed uh, chapter number 7 and chapter number 7 was about wireless link so we discussed wireless links links characteristics and we also discussed wifi okay so in today's class we are going to start a new chapter this chapter is about network security and we will discuss what is network security and how network security can be achieved by using encryption more particularly we will discuss two types of encryption algorithm symmetric and cap encryption asymmetric encryption and authentications okay so let's start that what is network security so in your mind what you will think about that what is network security so more specifically what is network security the network security it is basically defined by in using our in term of four terms these four terms it describe a network security and the first term is called confidentiality confidentiality means that when a sender sends a message suppose ls is sending a message to bob then confidentiality means that only sender and the intended receiver it should understand the message content the message content it should not the message should not be understood by anyone else that is the message should not be disclosed to anyone else this is called confidentiality suppose when ls is sending a message to bob so the message should only be transmitted from ls to bob and if it is read by someone else then someone else like trudy it shouldn't understand the message so the message should be uh, in the form when the message is transmitted so the message should be changed so that if someone else in the middle it get the message but it will not understand the message okay so we will discuss that how we can achieve it we can achieve it and how we can achieve it we will discuss it so the confidentiality it can be achieved by using encryption algorithm so we will discuss that the sender encrypts the message and then the receiver has to decrypt the message okay so the first term that defines the network security is called confidentiality okay the second term the second parameter that defines the network security is called authentication authentication means that when the sender and receiver they are communicating with each other then the receiver wants the sender wants the sender or receiver they both want to confirm the identity of each other that is when ls is sending the message to bob then the message want to sh make sure that the message is coming from the ls it is not coming from someone else similarly when the ls is sending the message to bob so the ls wants to confirm that the message will be only distinct will only be received by the bob not someone else okay so this is called authentication like ls is communicating with bob so ls wants to confirm that it is it is talking to the bob not someone else okay this is called authentication similarly the message integrity when the sender like ls it transmit a message so the ls wants that the message should be received in the form that is transmitted by ls that is there should no there should be no addition to the message there should be no deletion from the message and there should not be the other change of the message this is called that as it is transmitted it should be received in the same form by the receiver so this is called message integrity so message integrity means that the sender and receiver they want to ensure that the message is not altered or on the 
path the message is not altered on the path so that the, the, that is the message sent by the ls by the sender it should be received in the same form by the receiver it should not be changed on its way neither what could be changes they should not be uh, it should not be altered altered means that there is should be no addition there should be no deletion or the order of the message should not be changed and if it is done if the message is uh, integrity is is compromised that is the message is changed is modified then the receiver then the receiver should detect it the receiver should detect it so access and availability this is the fourth parameter what does it mean that the service must be accessible and available to users that is whenever the ls wants to send the message to bob so the uh, bob should be available at that time this is called access and availability so the, these four terms they completely defines what is called network security okay so the first term is called confidentiality so it means that if the network provides confidentiality authentication message integrity access and availability then that network is called network secure otherwise it is not secure so there are different applications due that we will discuss some application they only lead confidentiality some application they only lead authentication some needs confidentiality and authentication both some need message integrity some need access and availability some needs three of them some needs all four of them so it depends on the applications so the pen so so depending on the application the some application they needs confidentiality some needs authentication some needs both of them okay so the but whole network security it is about these four terms okay so friends and enemies so basically it is a well known uh, in the network security that there are there uh, there are two friends for example uh, ls is uh, and bob they are friends and they want to communicate with each other okay and this story it is basically the uh, intruder okay so it wants to uh, violate the network security what does it mean so we will discuss it okay so bob and ls these are two lovers and they want to communicate securely or the today it is an intruder and it want to for example what its intention the intention of this today is to intercept the message okay and understand that what are ls and bob talking about and this may want to delete the message for example ls is sending a love letter the today uh, capture the, uh, the the data in a discard so so that the message is not received by bob or it may wants to modify the message okay that uh, the ls is sending a letter and it will wants to uh, change the content of the message and uh, and then it forward to bob so okay so this is actually its intention that it wants to disturb the communication between ls and uh, bob okay so now let's about think about that who might be bob and ls in the network in the computer network why we need network security okay so the ls and bob it can be for example web browser and web server for example web browser it can be ls and the web server it can be bob so the web browser it access the web server so if the web browser is accessing web server so they may need network security okay similarly online banking so the client it could be ls and the bob could be server so the client for example a bank client you want to make a transaction so you are accessing the so ls uh, you are accessing the bank server so you more want that the bank server should be accessed in secure way okay so that the bank server so uh, on your account uh, someone else cannot make transaction okay only you are allowed to make transaction uh, against your account similarly the dns server they could be uh, ls and bob the dns server they talk to each other for example the root server the top level domain they talk to each other they exchange information with each other so they may want that their their communication should be secure similarly the routers 
the for example one router could be ls the another router it could be bob they want to exchange the link state information or distance vector routing protocol information so they want that these data should be exchanged securely so there are many example many example are in the network in the computer networking where we need network security okay so now what the bad guys what this attacker can do okay so let's discuss it for example the first thing that is could be eavesdrop for example the ls it is sending data to bob so this study may intercept the message and it can read the data that what ls and bob are talking so this is a why this is somehow this is called that the uh, uh, the confidentiality is over is compromised why because the truly is intercepting the message okay and it is reading the message that the 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 alice is sending the message to bob and this truly is also reading the message so it means that it is also uh, reading the uh, it is uh, it is uh, basically uh, compromising the message confidentiality Similarly, act, uh, actively insert the message into connection. For example, this two D is sending message to the Bob, and and it is the two D is pretending that the message is from LS. So okay, so the Bob is uh, is receiving the message from the two D, but the Bob is assuming that the message is from the LS because the two D is intending that the message is from LS. Okay, so this is wrong because the messages are not from uh, LS. The message is from two D. but the 2d is is uh, is somehow pretending okay similarly a personation so as i said this 2d is sending the message to bob and it is pretending okay so uh, it can the the this attacker it can fake or spoof the source address in the packet or any field in the packet and authenticate it, and then the authentication is compromised okay so this is also violation okay similarly hijacking okay for example uh, what does hijacking mean they taking over an ongoing connection by removing sender or receiver and inserting himself in place for example this uh, 2d it is sending the message to the ls and it is pretending that the message is from the bob okay for example this 2d it is accessing uh, the ls bank account and it is uh, pretending that this is ls so it can get the money actually it is not uh, the ls because it is uh, trudy and the, uh, uh, but it is getting the uh, it is hijacking the communication of the ls and it is accessing the ls bank account and getting the money drawing the uh, uh, withdraw the money okay draw the money okay similarly denial of service prevent service from being used by other for example what the this study it is sending too much data to the bob the bob is processing the data of today okay so with the bob is busy to process the data of today and now the ls is sending the data so the ls data when it arrives at the bob uh, machine it will wait until the today data is processed okay so it will wait how long it will wait until the today data is processed so if the today data takes for example 10 days for 14 days and even if this buffer is full then the ls message will be lost ls message will be lost so this is called denial of service attack for example if you are accessing your bank account and the bank account is already busy some uh, oh, someone else is accessing the bank asawa uh, so you will not get uh, the Sorry. So you have to wait. So how long you have to wait? So until the bank system it become free. Okay. So this is so maybe the some people they keep the bank system busy. Okay. So that the legitimate user cannot access. So this is called the denial of service attack. Okay. So now we are going to discuss that how can we achieve network security. So first, what is network security? So network security is confidentiality, authentication, message integrity, access and availability. So these four terms it defines the network security. So now we are discuss that how this network security can be achieved. So there are different several techniques proposed to achieve the network security, and these technique they can be grouped into multiple groups. 
into multiple groups for example this cryptography it is a technique okay similarly hashing is another technique sin cookies is another technique okay so we will disc the sin cookie we have discussed this in the tcp in the transport layer chapter number three the top down approach okay and uh, this the cryptography we will discuss it here in this uh, course and the hashing if we can find the time then we will discuss the hashing so okay so this uh, chip this uh, in this chapter we are going to discuss the cryptography in detail okay so now before discussing the network security we will discuss the principle of cryptography the principle of cryptography it what is cryptography and how it works generally okay so basically what is network uh, cryptography i would like to explain it through an example okay suppose this is the ls it wants to send a message this is the message hello how are you and this message will be sent to bob okay when this message is transmitted on the in the net and on the internet so maybe on the internet it can pass through any routers okay so if there is a uh, attacker trudy and on the on a router on the path then it can read this message and okay the ls is sending the message hello and how are you to the bomb okay so here the confidentiality is, is compromised okay so the cryptography how the cryptography can be used to secure this message transmission okay so in the cryptography this message the original message that is sent by the ls this original message it is called plain text and this message it is understandable for example you can see that it is hello how are you so you can understand that what does it mean okay in the cryptography before each sender and receiver they will have a key they will have a key for example the ls key is called ka and the bob's key is called kb the key is like the code for example if you are using atm card so atm card when you uh, uh, insert in the atm so you have you are asked to enter the pin so the pin code it is the key similarly when you enter uh, you want to unlock your window uh, so you give a password so the password is the key so similarly the ls it has a key and the bob the receiver it also have the key the sender has a key and the server and the bob has the key and this key it is securely exchanged okay we will discuss it suppose suppose what is this key okay so this plain text it is basically uh, the plain text and the key they are passed through an encryption algorithm and this encryption algorithm using the this key it change the plain text to cipher text this text is changed why this text is changed its meaning gets changed okay its meaning is changed for example you can see that the key is for example next character next character what does it mean that each character in the plain text it will be replaced by the next character for example h in a b c a b c d e f g h i so h after h the next character is i in a b c if you can read from a to z then from the next character what does it mean that h it will be replaced by next character next character of h is not e in a b c in a b c d e f g h i so the next character of h is i in the a b c so that's why h will be replaced by i similarly e the next character of e is f e f 
F is the next character. So E is replaced by F. M it will be replaced by L is replaced by M. Why? Because the next character of L is M. A B is L M N L M. So L is replaced by M. Similarly, L is replaced by M. So similarly, each character is replaced by its next character. So this message, the original message, this is called plain text. It it is changed like this way. Now, if someone read this message, F M M P I P X B S F Z P. So what does it mean? So no one can understand what does it is. So the text becomes ununderstandable. The text cannot be understandable. Okay, so you can see that this is if the 2D read this message, then E, then the 2D cannot understand that what does it mean. Okay, so the encryption it change the text into unreadable, ununderstandable form. It change the plain text, the original text, to an ununderstandable, to unreadable form. This is called encryption algorithm. And how it is changed by using the key. For example, this key, next character, and the encryption algorithm. Okay, so it is changed into unreadable, and then it is transmitted. If someone read this message, then it cannot understand. Okay, so when this message is re is received by the Bob, so the Bob knows the key. What is the key? The next character. That each character in this message it is replaced by a next character. So this message should be changed this cipher text it should be changed to the plain text by replacing by doing the reverse that is i is replaced by previous character so the i previous is h so it will be replaced by h the f previous is e it will be replaced by e the m previous character is l l m so l is the previous character okay so l and so on so now this so now this message is understandable so the receiver has the key so it knows that the ls has changed each character by the next character so when it receives the cipher text the bob will replace each character by its previous character so the next character this is the key and this the ls and this uh, bob they only know that this that each character is replaced by the next character okay so the what is the cryptography in the Cryptography, the plain text, original text, it is changed to ununderstandable, to unreadable form. Okay, by using the key, this is called encryption key. When the plain text is changed to cipher text, and this text is called cipher text, when the original message is, is changed to unreadable form. Okay, this cannot be readable. Okay, so this is called cipher text. So the plain text by applying the encryption key and the, then the plain text is changed to cipher text this is called encryption algorithm encryption procedure by changing the plain text to cipher text when the receiver receives the cipher text so it changes the cipher text to plain text by using the key and this algorithm is called this process is called decryption algorithm okay so mathematically m is the plain text message this message this is hello how are you this is m this is the message so this message it is represented by m k i k a it is the encryption key m is the message when the encryption key k a k a is applied over the message m for example this message hello how are you you can see that next character is the key and the k is next character and message is m it is hello how are you so when the encryption key is applied over the message for example the next each character each character is replaced by the next character in this message then this cipher text is produced okay so this cipher text that km again it is received this is km km this is the cipher text the blue text okay so this cipher text it will be again applied by next character so it will be each character and this will be replaced by previous one for example i will be replaced by h f will be replaced by e m will be replaced by l and so on 
so this plain text is again is here so when this cipher text again it encryption decryption algorithm is applied then the original message m is achieved that is you can see this cipher text the uh, key is applied then the original message m is computed okay so the original message that is sent by the sender it is called plain text the sender use a key which is called encryption key and the encryption algorithm change each character according to the key to cipher text the cipher text is transmitted if someone read the cipher text so it cannot understand when the cipher text is received by the receiver then again it use a key and this the trans the transforming the cipher text to plain text again this is called decryption and transforming the plain text to cipher text this is called encryption algorithm okay so we will discuss about this uh, because you can see that uh, uh, cipher text only means attack that the 2d has cipher text okay for example in this case you can see that this 2d has only cipher text it doesn't know that this what is this message even it doesn't know that whether this is changed by the sender or not and if it is changed so it is whether changed by next character or next two character or next three character and whatsoever okay so it cannot so using only the cipher text okay so if it wants to get that what does it, this message means if it wants to get the meaning of this message so it has to apply all the keys so this first character will be replaced by a first character uh, and so on then the by next two character by next three character and so on okay this is called brute force attack so if it wants to analyze the cipher text okay so there are two approaches one is called brute force that all the keys are applied over the over the cipher text for example this study receives this cipher text so this study it will apply uh, all the keys okay because there will be one key okay so uh, so it will apply all the key so this is called brute force attack and some because it will takes long time for brute force attack to to apply all the keys okay so we need some statistical analysis okay so we will discuss it later on okay uh, encryption algorithm we generally discussed in the last slide in this slide we generally discuss the encryption and decryption process okay now we are going to discuss the two algorithms for which is which are used for encryption okay so several encryption algorithm are proposed there are different encryption algorithms okay a lot of uh, are many encryption algorithm but all these algorithm they can be broadly classified is into two types one is called symmetric encryption algorithm it is also called single key encryption algorithm and it is also called private key encryption algorithm symmetric it is symmetric encryption algorithm it is also called single key it is also called private key encryption algorithm all these three names are used and one is called asymmetric encryption algorithm it is also called two keys encryption algorithm it is also called public key encryption algorithm so we will discuss symmetric key encryption algorithm and asymmetric okay so symmetric uh, key cryptography what does it mean in symmetric key cryptography single key is used for encryption and decryption this is called symmetric key cryptography symmetric key cryptography what does it mean in symmetric key cryptography single key is used for encryption the key which is used for encryption the same key will be used for decryption so it means that the sender and receiver they should have the same key they should have the same key otherwise symmetric key encryption algorithm cannot work for example this plain text the ls want to send a message message m to the bob to the receiver so the sender will should have the key and the receiver should have the same key for example case 
case so this key is with the both the sender and receiver this is called shared key s is used for shared case so the key is shared between ls and bob so when the bob sends uh, ls sends the message so the message m is changed to cipher text by using this key so the encryption algorithm using this key it changed the message to cipher text so this ksm it is cipher text after applying the ks on the message m cipher text is produced this cipher text is transmitted when the receiver receives the cipher text it will again decrypt the message by using this ks and this message original will be reported so symmetric key cryptography bob and ls they share the same symmetric key so that's why it is called symmetric key cryptography it is also called single key cryptography why because single key is used same key is used for encryption and decryption there is one key it is used both for encryption and decryption that's why it is also called single key algorithm and this key it should be only known to the sender and receiver not to someone else okay that's why it is called private key encryption that is the key that is used for encryption and decryption okay symmetric key encryption means that one key the same key is used for encryption and decryption and this key is single key so that, that's why it's called single key encryption and this key case it should be only known to the sender and receiver not to one not to other people so that's why it is private to ls and bob that's why it is also called private key encryption algorithm okay so symmetric key encryption algorithm what does it mean that the there is single key single key is used for both encryption and decryption uh, symmetric key cryptography bob and ls they share same symmetric key that is ks for example key is knowing substitution pattern into mono alphabetic substitution cipher we will discuss it okay so the question in this we will discuss that how do bob and ls agree on key how this key is uh, shared between ls and Sen and bob how they share secretly so this is a challenge we will discuss it later on okay so let me discuss one uh, uh, symmetric key algorithm this is called caesar cipher it is called caesar cipher suppose this is the message hello how are you okay e what is the key the key is that each character should be replaced by the next character this character is key okay so the next character is key so this is known to bob and ls not to anyone else so when the ls sends the message so she will change each character she will apply this key so the key is to change each character by next character so the message will become ifma okay similarly when this message is received by bob so it will decrypt the message and it will gets like this okay now so in this encryption algorithm you can see that uh, uh, that uh, if you can see that each character is replaced by someone el else character another character each character is replaced by another character this is called substitution okay so what is the disadvantage okay uh, the disadvantage is uh, here we discuss another algorithm for example this is the plain text a b c d so for each text we define that a should be replaced by m 
b should be replaced by n in the previous we we replace each character by the next character but here you can see that a is replaced by m so b is replaced by n and c is replaced by b so there for each character we use uh, uh, different uh, options okay so here uh, you can see that uh, if we apply uh, what could be the here we each character is replaced by next character so here there are 26 possible options they are here 26 possible option okay but here each character is replaced by a fixed character for example a is replaced by m b is replaced by n c is replaced by b d is replaced by v and so on so for each character we define that each character should be replaced by a particular character okay so this is called mono alpha um, uh, it is called mono alphabetic cipher in mono alphabetic cipher we define that a should be replaced by m b should be replaced by n c should be replaced by b okay so in this we have 26 uh, uh, there are uh, about uh, so it has uh, that there are 26 um, uh, uh, more than 26 options okay for example this is the plain text bob i love you ls so b will be replaced by b will be replaced by n so b is replaced by n o will be replaced by o it will be replaced by k so o is replaced by k b is replaced by n i will be replaced by s i is replaced by s and so on so this plain text message it is changed to this separate text so this separate text cannot be understand okay so the encryption it is mapping from set of 26 character to set of 26 letters so this is the encryption key okay so this is called mono alphabetic cipher the disadvantage is that what is its disadvantage the disadvantage although it has more than 26 options okay so so but the here the disadvantage is that that this b it is always replaced by n you can see b is replaced by n b is also replaced by n okay so the same letter is replaced by the same letter for example b is replaced by n similarly o is replaced by k o is replaced by k and o is replaced by k okay in english language you will that we have some uh, analysis statistical analysis what does it mean that the e character it appears its frequency is higher highest this is the frequency that in any length any english sentence or any english any english text the e character it it appears more frequently most frequently similarly a similarly t similarly and so on so if this analysis is performed then one can detect this is called statistical analysis here for example the e character is replaced is 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 appearing more frequently so uh, for example c character is appearing more frequently so c will be replaced by e similarly there is also statistical analysis that two character for example th it appears most frequently in english i n it appears more frequently in english so this analysis can be used to change this cipher text into plain text into so the attacker can change the cipher text to plain text and even it can come to know about the key okay so this is the disadvantage okay so similarly we have some more sophisticated encryption approach and we will discuss it in the next video okay